I hope you are a chess enthusiast, because in this exercise we will be trying to figure out if a knight can make a full tour around the chessboard. But if chess is not your cup of tea, don't worry. I promise it, this is going to be a very interesting exercise and a learning experience as well. And as always, I will explain everything along as I code. Ok, let's start with explaining what it means to have a knight make a full tour around a chessboard. So the first thing you need to know is that a knight uses L-shaped moves around the chessboard. And the goal here is for the knight to step on every square on the chessboard without stepping on any of the squares more than once. So let's have a look how we are going to approach this. So here you can see that a knight has 8 available L-shaped moves. Notice that the moves consist of a position that moves the knight horizontally and a position that moves the knight vertically. So for example the first move could be made with two squares up, which is vertically, and one horizontally to the left. Or it could also be one square horizontally to the left and then two steps vertically to the top. Or for example move 3 could be two squares horizontally to the right and then one square vertically which is up or one square vertically down. So what we can do is to save these possible moves into arrays. And one array can hold the moves in the first column here, you can see here, and the other will hold the second column. And this will be corresponding arrays, meaning that the index in one array will hold half of the move and the same index in the second array will hold the other half of the move. So you can see that some of the numbers have a minus in front of them. That's when we are moving left, when we move in horizontally, or when we move in down, if we're moving vertically. So going up and to the right is a positive number, and going left and down is the negative number. So for example, negative 2 and negative 1, which is the 6 moves over here, you can see we're going 2 down and 1 left. Alright, so let's discuss our strategy to make the moves. So we will start the tour by randomly selecting a box. Then at the beginning, all the boxes on the chessboard will be empty except for the cell in which the knight starts the tour. And as knight moves, we will place a character on each box that the knight steps on. So we will replace the empty squares with a character of the knight. And if the knight can't move anymore, then the tour ends. And if all boxes have a character on them, then the knight completed a full tour and we can display the statistics. However, if there are any empty boxes, then the tour is incomplete and the knight is simply stuck. He cannot move without stepping on one of the squares that he already visited. So we will run the program until a full tour is made. So we will just press the button and let it run. And we will display how many tours it took to finally finish a full tour. And we will also display best tours as the program progresses. So every time the knight performs a better tour than any previous one, or it matches the best tour from the previous moves, we will display the stats and the chessboard. So, like I said, we will run the program until the knight finally finds its way around the chessboard. So let's have a look at possible output. So, notice that at the end we display the final board which now consists of all axes, which is the character for the knight that we chose. But the boards displayed before the final tool was made, they also show some empty squares which uh, mean that the knight was stuck and couldn't move anymore, but uh, did not finish the tour. And also notice that we display two sets of messages. First, for example up here, we display that ok, you did not complete the tour yet, but you made 62 moves and this is the number of the tour, and this is the best so far. The next message you can see that it simply says that we matched 62 moves that we already reached before and it is still our best move. Then from 62 moves we finally made 63, so again this is the best so far, we display the message. Then we hit 63 two more times, we display the message, and then finally we hit the full tour and display the message as well. 
All right, so this is the introduction to the problem. And in the next video, we will start coding by creating our chessboard class. I'll see you in the next video.